Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm back. Yes. <laughs> oh, what can I say? Um, life kind of got in the way. We've had a few things happen, and uh, I'll tell you about some of them. Some of them I'll just glance over. Uh, basically, okay, so my last video was in June. So at the end of June, um, my mother's decided to sell her house and uh, move into an apartment. So she's downsizing. So the apartment's supposed to be ready in November because um, it, it's a brand new building and it's just like five minutes from me, which is really nice. I live in Renfrew. She lives in Ottawa. So she's coming closer and I have another sister that lives in Renfrew. So it'll be really nice for us to have her close by. So our daughter uh, bought her townhouse. So she moved out of her apartment in June and moved in with us so she could save some money. I say, yeah, I know. We're, we're nice parents, I guess. Anyways, um, so turns out the apartment's delayed. It's just a brand new construction, right? So mom isn't moving into her apartment until February. Uh, no, sorry, the end of January. So in a, in a week or so. Uh, so our daughter is still here with us, uh, but she's really anxious to get into her home. So are we. Anyways. So, um... So that happened in June. Uh, July turns out that our, my husband had some health concerns, so they're all looked after, so everything's okay there. And uh, we spent time up at the trailer, up at the lake, and we absolutely love it up there. It's so nice, but I get no internet. But this coming season, I'm going to film up there and just upload it when I get home. So, because we do come home at least once a week to do laundry and stuff like that. So um, that was most of the summer, and then September was my birthday, and um, what else was happening in September? I don't know. Anyways, October, November, well, November we found out that our daughter was going to be staying longer, but that's all right, and mom's move was delayed. Uh, December was Christmas, and... Uh, we, did, we do have some sad news in December. Between Christmas and New Year's, we had to say goodbye to our, our, our dog, Coda. Um, he was such a sweet thing. He was 17 and a half years old, and we had him for 17 of those years. Uh, it was really hard to say goodbye to him. So, um, anyways, I'll, I'll put some pictures of him at the end of the video. So, and that brings us to January. So here we are. Now, um, exciting stuff. April, I'm going to Stitch North with my sister, different sister, the, the other sister that lives in Ottawa. Uh, we're going to Stitch North uh, over by Toronto someplace. Hopefully, fingers crossed that the uh, COVID isn't too bad or that restrictions are lifted. Oh, God, I'm so... I'm Break, break, break. I've had enough of this. I'm all um, uh, vaccinated. I have uh, both shots and the booster shot. So does everybody in my family. Um, so that that's great. Um, so we've been, you know, seeing each other and stuff like that. But uh, we're ready for a holiday. Uh, we, we do have plans uh, to go on holiday in March. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, you may see a video of me while I'm on holidays because I will be bringing my stitching with me. So, uh, what else? Um, that's about all. So, why don't we get on to um, my finishes? See you in a bit. Okay, let's get into finishes. So over this time period, I did manage a few finishes. Um, one of them is Please Be Home for Christmas by Carolyn Manning. Here we go. There we go. I just love the colors in this. They're so vibrant. Give you a look close up. Okay. So that was finished, um, hang on, I've got it here, uh, 13th of July, 2021. Now this was a new start and a finish last year. Uh, it was a birthday start, I started it in September, and I finished it on the 30th of November. 
So this is O Canada. Oops, here we go. There we go. By Cooler Designs. So as you can see for Canada, it goes from sea to shining sea. We have all the representations of across the country. Um, we have the, the mountains, the Rocky Mountains. Whoops, here we go. Let's turn this around here. There we go. So we have the Rocky, up again. So we have the Rocky Mountains. I will get it eventually. Um, and this is the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. Here we have some salmon representing the BC coast and and the the woods for uh, for BC as well. And uh, we have the prairies with the wheat. Ontario has water and the caribou, and then the north has the snow polar bear and uh, the fleur de lis. Oh, and this is a, a seal, I believe. So, and the Canadian geese. And anyways, everything is, looks like it's represented here. So, I really loved stitching this. Although it it's calls for three strands of floss, which I did do. Um, but this is 28 count, so it was a little difficult. So I wouldn't do it again on 28 count, or I'd use uh, two strands instead of the three. So that was O Canada by Cooler Designs. The other one I finished, this was a, a New Year start. Uh, I'm sure you've seen lots of them. But it was uh, Modern Folk, Folk Embroidery's Fruits of Plenty. So there we go. It was me. <laughs> so there's my initials. And the years, the year. So I started this on January 1st and I finished it in early December, around December 12th or so. And uh, I used Cosmo Floss on this. I wanted to try out Cosmo, so I thought this would be a good time to try it out. And uh, I did like how it, how it stitched because it didn't um, tangle as much as uh, DMC does. Uh, I did do this on 28 count. It's an antique white um, linen. So uh, I'm anxious to get this one washed and uh, I want to get it framed. So. Modern Folk Embroidery, flute, Fruits of Plenty. So there we go. And the last one I did was a uh, Mill Hill Buttons and Beads uh, kit. And this is it here. This is the Snow Polar Bears. And uh, I did finish this one. And here you go. Isn't he cute? This was actually fun to stitch. Uh, the perforated paper is, it's a nice relaxing stitch. So uh, I have ordered the frame for this, so hopefully it'll be coming soon. It did ship from 123 Stitch. So um, hopefully it comes soon and we can get it framed. So, so those are all my finishes. Um, so let's move on to uh, current whips. Hold on. Okay. So for current whips, uh, I have a few. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the largest one because it's, it's heavy. I still have it mounted in my Lowry stand uh, stuff. So this is um, Steampunk Butterfly. This was a, a, um, a group stitch that we started last June. And uh, anyways, I had started it on black. Uh, because there was no way I was stitching all this white. Okay, look, I'll get through the story of this. So I was stitching it on black and I was having a heck of a time. And it's a full coverage piece and I thought, if I'm not having fun, I'm not going to stitch it. So I restarted it on white uh, because the black was just too hard for me to see. So I, um, I started ripping out the black so I could use the fabric for something smaller. And uh, I started it on this white, uh, I believe it's 16 count Ada. And I seem to be doing quite well with it. So I got the white going here. I, I'm starting to do the, the, the um, diagonals now. So, so there we go. 
steampunk butterfly coming along really nicely. Uh, I do have a picture of it. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Here we go. This is what it will look like when it's done. So there we go. Okay, so first up, uh, well, first up was the steampunk butterfly, but next up is the opening gambit by Long Dog Sample. My husband is a chess player, so I want to do this for him. So, see all the, the pieces and your move up in the, the top left there. So uh, this is what I've got so far. Pretty. It's very, very pretty. I know it, it kind of looks black, but it's not. I'm doing this one over one on 32 count linen. I can't remember um, the colorway of the linen. It's um, unfortunately. And um, it is GMC 844. And if you can see, it looks like it, it's brown, but it has a silver tone to it. I don't know. Can we spin it? Here we go. Is that better? Uh, there we go. Anyways, I, I'm loving the color. So I might have to buy a few more skins. <laughs> so that is um, Opening Gambit by Long Dog Samples. Next up is another one that you've probably seen. It was very popular last year. It is Lila Studios Halloween Quaker. There we go. I finished the whole piece except for these um, skeletons. I needed some Blackbird, Blackbird um, Floss by uh, Classic Colorworks. Yeah, Classic Colorworks. And it took forever to come in. So... It finally came in. I haven't stitched it yet, though, because, I mean, it just came in. So, uh, but here's the piece. Anyways, whoops. There we go. I just think it, it's so pretty. Whoops, there we go. Very pretty. This is done on the called for uh, fabric. I think it's called Haunted. And uh, I've done it in a 28 count. Um, yeah, 28 count. Oh, murky Lugana fabric. That's, that's what this is. So, so hopefully that will be a finish on my next video. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Oh, yes. This is another new start. Uh, it was a birthday start as well. Two birthday starts. Um, I am, okay, I have this thing for Halloween, okay? I love Halloween. So this is uh, Glendon's Place, Sleepy Hollow. That's what it'll look like. And this is where I've gotten to. I haven't done much. <laughs> I've got the back end of the horse. <laughs> there we go. So as you can see, the saddle is next and so on and so forth. So I wanted to get a start on it and I, I have it on my whip go board as well. So I'll be going through that in uh, a few minutes. So that is that and here are all the flosses. Now I might as well tell you now, well, no, I'll wait until we do the uh, haul. So that is Glendon Place Sleepy Hollow. Next is another one that I started in 2020, I believe it was, yeah, 2020. And I really want to get finished this year. So this is another Carolyn Manning design. It's called uh, Beachcomber. There we go. And I'm fairly close to a finish. So let's see here. So here we go. This is what I've got so far. So 
So I think I can finish that this year. That would be really nice. I want to make this into a pillow and I want to take it to our trailer. So there we go. So that's that. Now, what do we have here? Oh, this one here. Hmm, do I not have a picture of it? I may not. Yeah. This is a Caterpillar Designs uh, piece, and it is called Made to Create. So, this is done on a 28 count Picture This Plus fabric. Yeah. And I'm having a hard time with seeing it, but uh, I did get new glasses, so hopefully it will be better. So, that's where I am right now. So... But yeah, I was having a really hard time seeing the, seeing the holes. I don't know if I picture this plus uh, fabric to, um, I don't know if it's their dyeing process or what, but the, the holes are a lot smaller than, because I've never had trouble with 28 count. So anyways, so that's made to create by, by uh, Caterpillar Designs. Another one. These are all bags I've made. So, oh yes, this one. This is Pandemic. Now I've got a whole bunch of notes on it because I'm making changes, right? So, Pandemic. And I have not gotten too far with it. I am doing it on 28 count. Uh, Lugana, I believe it is. Oops. Okay. And I'm doing it using Mrs. Satis Floss. So, that's all I've done so far. <laughs> I love stitching with Mrs. Sata's silks. They are gorgeous. And they smell so pretty. So as you can see, one of the changes I made is I made I put in my hometown here. So it says Renfrew. Hang on there. There we go. Yeah, Renfrew. So Anyways, so that's that. And uh, I have one more whip that I am currently working on. Let me see here. Pull this up. Because if I don't, everything's going to get mixed up. So, there we go. And my last project is um, by Little House Needleworks. Uh, and it is Pringles. So, there you go. This is what it will look like. There we go. And uh, it's it's a nice whip as well. I started this one in 2020 as well. 20, okay, last year was 2021. 20, it was 2020, I believe, or 2019, one of the two. So I started filling in the first window and I've got the first two floors framed out. So there we go. And it's being done on the called for uh, fabric, uh, 28 count and using the called for floss. So a lot of classic color works and some DMC. So that's all my works in progress. So the... So um, I'm just going to get set up for my uh, haul, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, haul. That's always fun, isn't it? <laughs> so um, I don't have my haul in any particular order. I'm just going to show you some stuff that I still have floating around that I haven't started yet or whatever. So I received this from my daughter. It's a nice little kit. I received it for Christmas, and uh, it has uh, sitters and a laying tool, thimble. You can keep your needles in the hair as well. So, anyways, it's really nice. I really like it, and these scissors are just great. So, and what, who is this by, or does it say? Sewing box, European classical. So a thimble, syringe, threading needle, awl, and scissors. I'm not sure who it's made by, but anyways, this is what it looks like. OK, 
Okay, something else I got. I saw this on another uh, floss tube, and I'm really sorry. I don't remember who it was. But it is this light, okay? First of all, it folds flat, so it's great for traveling. And then it has a nice heavy base, and uh, this is the, um, the light part. You turn it on, and there is a magnifying glass in there as well. So, so I'm going to a retreat, which we'll talk more about in a few minutes, but uh, I'm looking forward to taking this with me and uh, trying it out. Uh, I'm qu quite anxious about it. So, and this is, I don't think it says who it is, uh, Daylight, uh, geez, I, I can't remember, but I got it off Amazon, it's just called Daylight, I guess, I should have got it off Amazon, like I said, it was another YouTuber, but I can't remember who it was, hmm. Okay, um, something else I got for Christmas from my son. I got the uh, Creepy Cross Stitch book, and this is by Lindsay Swearingen. So, and it has some really nice patterns, and so, so I'm looking forward. There's a few in here that I definitely want to do for next year. So, but I gotta finish some more stuff before I start. <laughs> so, Creepy Creepy Cross Stitch. Uh, from uh, from Lindsay Swearingen, and there's 25 spooky projects to haunt your halls. <laughs> so I'm quite excited about this. Okay, I also got, sorry for the wrestling, I also got a lot of uh, linens. Uh, these are Zweigarts, uh, they're all 32 count. So this is um, lilac. And uh, pearl gray. Oh, this is a um, Zweigart um, 32 count charcoal. So it's kind of a black, but not quite. So I'm hoping I can see the holes a bit better than that. And then we have ice blue. Oh, I really like this one. That's pretty. And uh, platinum. And I believe this is ivory. Yeah, ivory. So, so these are all the linens I see I purchased, and then I've got a another piece here, and this is to do something else. What is this? This is. Sorry, gotta look it up. Uh, there are 28 count linen, Autumn Fairy with silver. Oh yeah. Now, I can't remember what I was going to use this for, but, and I think you can see the silver. See the little sparkles of silver in there? Anyways. It will come to me. <laughs> Whoops. So... Okay, so that is that. I'll put that up here. Okay. Uh, next, I just got a pair of snips. Now, these guys are out of magazines. They're little smalls. So there's one. Um, a sailing one. And then uh, it's time for tea. So I will eventually do those. I like to do them... Um, I find that most of my projects are big projects, and um, every now and then I like to do a small, just to start and finish and relax, they're relaxing. Uh, I did purchase some other Mill Hill kits. This is the Chalkboard Quartet. Um, I'm missing one of them, so <laughs> I have to go looking to see if I can find it. Uh, this is Dream One Size Too Big. I love this one. Beautiful. And welcome to our home. 
So these girls here are all more health. And like I said, I'm missing one, so I have to go looking for it. Another one I got was a beaded holiday one, which I never got around stitching this year, so I probably will stitch it soon. Um, it is the Golden Snowflake. Isn't that pretty, eh? Look at all the beads. <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay. Something else I purchased was the uh, Nora Colbert. Oh, what is this? Which one is this? Ah, sorry. It's a Mill Hill Holiday Village. That's it. Okay, I'll just take it out of the bag anyways. This is the piece here. I think it's gorgeous. So I purchased the Call for Path Fabric. Uh, which is 28 count sapphire linen, star sapphire linen fabric. And uh, a whole bunch of beads and some specialty or oh, some flosses that were missing that I didn't have. A whole bunch of beads. Sorry. I know one last thing. My apologies. There's the Okay, here we go. There's one. There's the green. Oh. There we go. And some more. And some more. So, I haven't started this. I do have a new start on my whip go board. So, it might be this one or one of the other ones. I gotta keep this together. I don't want it to, to go apart. So there we go. Oh, I also bought um, some uh, Monaco, 28 count Monaco, for some pieces. I'm not sure which ones. I just saw it and I thought, oh, that would be good. Always good for the stash. The other thing I purchased is um, uh, I, in one of my earlier vis videos where you see the blue cart. Um, they're explained in that, but basically they're uh, my floss storage system. Uh, they're called Annie's Keepers, and I absolutely love them. I keep all my floss on rings. Um, this is the, um, the item. So I put a color of floss on here, and I have a little round label with the number on it. And then you have these things that can hang in file folders, uh, drawers, and they're the exact length for a file folder drawer. And the, um, sorry, <laughs> the floss drop hangs in there. So I have what's called a banker's box that I put all these in. And uh, when I'm not using a, a floss for a, a project, I keep it in the banker's box on, on here. When I am using it, um, such as these, I put them on these rings and I hang them up on my cart and um, I, use, I pull a strand off of those. So, anyways, I know people with cats, this is probably not going to work for you. <laughs> They'll want to attack it. <laughs> That's okay. I love cats. So, there we go. So that was something else I bought, and I've gotten my daughter into cross-stitching, so I shared this. Uh, she paid for half, and I paid for half, and we each got half, so there you go. Now, the last piece of haul I have was a Christmas present from my husband, and I'm looking forward to this. This is Summer Quakers. I can't wait to start this. And he bought me the whole kit. So this, I, like I say, I have another new start on my uh, whip go board. So it's either going to be this one or it'll be the um, the, the, the village, Christmas Village one or whatever it is. So, so we'll see. Or it could be by the quartets. So, ah, come on. Get in there. Anyways, that's, uh, that's about it. And uh, I want to thank you for... Um, Sticking with me and coming back, I appreciate it. Um, 
I appreciate you and I appreciate uh, the fact that you're willing to spend some of your precious time um, looking at what I have and what I've been up to. So until next time, uh, take care and uh, stay well. Thank you. Thank you.